Okay, today we're going to talk about smoothing and scraping. Uh, the big difference between smooth and lump-free is what we're kind of after. You can see that this coil pot is relatively smooth and doesn't have the lumps and bumps. So this one is smooth. If you run your finger over it, uh, you don't feel any sharp pieces, that sort of thing, but it's not lump-free. So what we're going after is smooth and lump-free. Uh, the nicer this is, the nicer it'll look when you've glazed it, the nicer it'll look when you put your design in it and make that part actually easier. So today I'm going to show you how to take care of the lumps and bumps and get it smoothed out. First thing you need is your kidney scraper and I'm going to use this to scrape it down. So what I do, you can see my hand, I've bent it around my thumb and I'm going to come up and at an angle. So if you see it here, I'm going to come up and at an angle that way. I don't want to just scrape straight around and I don't want to scrape straight up. If I go just straight up, I'm just going to go along with the bumps like they're speed bumps. So I'm going to scrape and as you can see, I've got that bent around my finger and any of these big places here where it doesn't seem to be doing a good job of smoothing out, I'm just going to take this clay that came off of my scraper and stuff it in there. So should, as long as it's nice soft clay, it'll stick in there pretty nice. So again, up at an angle as much as you can. There's some places like around here where sometimes you just got to go side to side.
Once you get it relatively lump free, the next step is to go back and really smooth it. Uh, and the best tool to do that with is your finger. So when I'm using my finger, now I find it best to go kind of down at an angle. And my goal here is to get rid of any scratches that the scraper may have left. And you may come back across the spot and decide that that part needs a little bit more scraping. And just kind of fix that one spot up.